I'm going to put Jock in the background doing some work. That red stripe one was another one that was bad with fluke. Some people asked to see this, so hopefully you like it. Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name. Sheep is the game. It's a scanning day. This time, though, we are doing my gimmers. Homebred gimmers which are sheep that are two years old and that haven't lambed as one-year-olds or hogs as we would call them here. I'm aware that after Sandy gave me such a great shout out on her channel that I have a lot of American and Canadian fans as well as others around the world and I'm just trying to speak a little bit slower and a little bit clearer so that I don't have to spend hours doing subtitles because that's the way it's heading if I keep speaking so fast. The sheep that I'm scanning today, I'm going to put Jock in the background doing some work. I started speaking fast again there. This is Jock, he's here to give us a hand. Jock's a famous sheepdog man, well, few few guys in his family are, him not so much anymore. He was good when he was younger. Once I get into the seniors, not so much. but. <laughs> We have 50 mm -hmm, to do here today. These ones were ones that in a previous video I had issues with fluke and although I didn't lose any from this batch, there was that one sheep that couldn't even walk into the pens. I'm doing this lot first. I honestly don't know how I feel about it. They had that bad go of liver fluke where a couple of them lost a lot of condition but the rest of them were fairly fit. They're on a fantastic bit of grass here now, a very dry bit that they're on. But we've had a good frost, the fluke should be gone for the year, the cycle should be broken. And after getting a dose of fluke ivor as they did in that previous video, which is a Clasanto based product, they should be on the thrive and hopefully recovered from any fluke issues they had. Scanning is a... It's a funny thing as a farmer, like you're obviously very nervous until the first couple sheep go through especially if you have a couple of niggles in your mind about a tup maybe not working or fluke issues and things like that but usually sheep are incredible they usually they will just do the job themselves so hopefully that's the case here the tup the ram we call it a tup here in scotland the ram is still with these sheep there was two with them one pulled off and i just left the other one running just in case, because I'm not going to be selling these gimmers if they're empty, barren you may call it. I will be keeping them, they're homebred gimmers, I like them, I've reared them for two years, I would give them another year if they're empty this year, especially with the issues with fluke, it might just be they got a wee bit of a check at tupping time and that's what's caused them to be barren. We'll get them in, I'll show you them the pen, we'll run them through the scanner and we'll see how we go. I said we'd have a look at the gimmers. Here they are. That red stripe one was another one that was bad with fluke. She seems lively enough now. I just marked her so that I could keep an eye on her because I knew she was a bad one, so we'll see how she is when we get in the scanning crate. So I'm not sure I've actually spoken through my scanning setup before, but it's literally a case of this is up here, this little thing flicks here just to hold it up. Your ramp comes down, that's the first stage. Flick this down this, do we call this a user? Comes out and gets handed to Jock because I've only got one hand because I'm messing about with the camera. These just go in here.
So you may have already seen me using the gas burner in, in previous videos, I'm not sure where I'm at at the moment, but essentially the idea of this is, even when you pressure wash it down there might be the odd wee bit of wool and stuff, or some sheep farmers won't have washing facilities that are ideal, might just be a hose etc etc, so, or a bucket of water just to clean it out, so this burns off any little bits of wool or any mites or anything that might cause issues go over the whole thing with this burn it all off perfectly sanitised ok so we are set up in the trailer waiting for the sheep it takes longer to set up and mess about with the cameras than it actually does to scan the sheep I have another camera set up which is going to pop up in the bottom corner of the screen as soon as the first sheep runs in, there it is, and what I'm going to do is I'm just really going to talk about what I'm seeing and general chat as I go. Some people ask to see this so hopefully you like it. For colours I'm going to be green for a triplet, blue for a single, red for an empty. I like marking them on this left hip because a couple of reasons, one it's easy for me to reach, two when I'm lambing the sheep it's right in front of me how many lambs it's having, three when you want to see what a sheep is when she's lambing you just walk around to your left, it's dead easy, I find if I'm in the middle of the back you're almost like what is that, what is that, don't know why I did that twice, but on the hip really easy to see, similarly when you're in the field or on the bike you can see from a distance what she is, Okay, so here we go. First one's probes about to touch, and it's in lamb. Good start. Okay, wee bit dirty underneath, and we have a we have a three to start. Does that settle your nerves any? We're at three hundred percent. Call it a day, Joe. That's us. Pack up. Three hundred percent. Unbelievable. Cheap at meals, and they don't give you many lambs. They say. Right, it's all doing healthy here. On you go, last. And the next one. I've seen it straight away there you see she's in lamb and that is perfect she's a single and she'll definitely lamb at the same time as the other one so I'll be able just to pair them up so that's two sheep with twins so far on you go lass run on run forward run forward next one in she's a kind of she almost feels like she's a bit of text a bit of this sheep right tell you one thing they are very very dirty underneath but she is a twin still 200% on you go next one we have is a twin on you go lass well done proud of god they're fat next one we have in is a, a black one black headed sheep you might have seen her as she ran past there, or you're probably watching the screen. She's a twin as well. And next one in is a twin as well. Are you following this on the screen, guys? It's not easy. Okay, some muck on this last here. Jeez, okay. And that is a two, easiest way to describe it I suppose, right at 12 o'clock just now casting shadows, you see that bright white circle, that's a head, which then goes to the body, those wee dots, those little dots are ribs, at 12 o'clock on the screen, and the other one is directly above it, simple, two, one last, one last, look at you, oh no, don't put your head up there, there you go. Next one, same story, one below and one above, perfect stage for scanning, oh no lass, a single that's the scanning percentage ruined, we're going so nice, on you go girl, you're alright, well done, one, no listen, I was not joking, 
gave me a little look there like she wasn't impressed with what I was saying. Oh, steady on, lass. Steady. Oh, steady, 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 steady. You're a rascal. And here we go, another two. again, that's pulled us back. They give you one back and then they take it away. That's a single. She's a later, she is later, so the, the fetus there is a lot smaller and it's measured by those circles in the screen. They give you a rough guide, so we're going to say that one's about 50 days in lamb or thereabouts. And she's just a single, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a single mark, and so I know she's late, um, so I know she's going to be a late lamber, I'm going to give her a red on the tail, a red on the tail. We say red in Scotland, but red in the rest of the world. Well, maybe not in China, they maybe have their own word. So that red, I'll know, late llama. When I watch this video back, because I'll forget initially. I hope you guys are enjoying this view. I know that a lot of you have asked to see the screen while I scan, and I think this is a really great way of showing that. Rather than show you the full 50 odd sheep being scanned in this format. I'm going to move things along a little bit and head towards the end of this job. For those of you who are really enjoying this and would like to see a longer, less edited version of this video, then please take a look in the description and I'll add a link to my new Patreon page, which is something that I plan to constantly add new content to. Something a little bit different and out with that that you find on YouTube really focusing on new entrant farmers and those who are keen to get into farming. Two. I don't really bother with putting kilo on my tops because it's fairly easy for me to see when I scan them, any late ones, and I just mark it then. Here, this is another one with red stripes that was bad with fluke. Same story. Empty. So it does not bode well for the place where I have all the sheep that were where the dead one was. It does not bode well for there. We're likely gonna have a few empties here too. She's still running with the top. She may end up lambing in June. Oh last don't jump in there. That is done. 57, which is what I thought there was. I just didn't want to say at the start. 57 gimmels scanned, four empty, which is too many, probably between 57. Two of them were ones I had already marked as being badly affected by the fluke. So no real surprise there, roll those two out. The other two, it is what it is. It's nothing to worry about. They may lamb yet, the top is still with them and I'll be holding on to them. At the price of breeding sheep, I'll run them another year, just give them another chance and see how they do next year. And what I'll do is when I get them separated out later on, I'll take a little nick out the rear so I know those sheep for scanning next year. As you see there, we finished up on 174%, which is pretty good for, for gimmers. I'm happy. Actually, I'm happy. Uh, I'd rather have a lower percentage and less empty, to be perfectly honest. 
if every sheep's having a lamb, you're laughing. But I would say, realistically, gimmers, anything 170 plus is a good result. And I'm not just saying that because that's my own. I think that's 170 is a good thing to aim for. But that's the first batch done. Settles the nerves. I can get into my big 200 lot for the next video and see how they do. Thanks for watching, sheep fans. See you for the next one. So I've just started a TikTok for the sheep game. It's called At The Sheep Game, really easy. But I hadn't been in TikTok before and I found this song called The Weller Man. If you haven't seen it, it's so addictive. Gary Barlow did a cover with Ronan Keaton. It's fantastic and I feel really inspired. If you haven't heard it, it goes a bit like this. Soon may the weller man come to give us sugar and tea and rum.